now so far we have discussed and have had an introduction of python and we have also discussed its its advantages and various other facts now we'll understand what is the execution mechanism of in python and what is the python ide so basically how are we going to run programs in python this is the thing this is the first thing which usually all or most of the python programmers need to know you type the code into the text files and you run those files through the interpreter under the hood though a bit more happens when you tell python to go behind the scenes which happens basically so although knowledge of python internals is not strictly required for python programming a basic pro understanding of the runtime structure of python can help you grasp the bigger picture of the program execution so what happens is when you instruct python to run your script there are a few steps which happen behind the scenes so these steps happen before your code actually starts crunching away specifically it's first compiled to something called byte code and then routed to something called a virtual machine so first of all talking about the byte code comp compilation that is the first step of this process internally and most completely hidden from you when you execute a program Python first compiles your source code into a format known as byte code. Compilation is simply a translation step and byte code is a lower level platform independent representation of your source code. Roughly, Python translates each of your source statements into a group of byte code instructions by decomposing them into individual steps. This byte code translation is performed to speed execution. Byte code can be run much more quickly than the original source code statements in your text file. Now the next step is PVM which stands for Python virtual machine. So once your program has been compiled to the byte code in the first step it is shipped off for execution to something generally known as the Python virtual machine. The Python virtual machine sounds more impressive than it is really it's not a separate program and it needs not to be installed by itself. In fact, the PVM is just a big code loop that iterates through your bytecode instructions one by one to carry out their operations. The PVM is the runtime engine of Python to understand it better. It's always present as part of the Python system and it's the component that truly runs your script. Technically, it's just the last step of what is called the Python interpreter. Now, IDLE is the standard Python development environment. Its name is an acronym of Integrated Development Environment. It works well both on Linux and Windows platforms. It has a Python shell window which gives you access to the Python interactive mode. It also has the file editor that lets you create and edit existing Python sources. So basically in this course we'll be using version 3.5 as it covers adequate libraries in present day scenario and integrated development environment which is the code editor including a series of peripheral components and attachments pertaining to python itself the most important feature of the python ide is ide is beyond ordinary text editor it offers a variety of language specific shortcut editing functions which make it fast and comfortable for programmers while coding as compared to other contemporary ides of its language the IDE will be used we will be using is Python IDLE, which is the IDE for Python. IDLE is the following features. First of all, it is coded in 100% pure Python. Secondly, it is cross-platform, that is, it works well on both Windows as well as Unix operating systems. And it is also multi-window text editor with multiple undo, Python colorizing, and many other features. Example, smart indent and call tips. And, and it also carries a python shell window ideally comes by default with the python setup you don't have to get it uh, separately you just need to initiate it which can be done using a search or a command line so that's it for the rough introduction about the python ide we'll discuss its details in our upcoming video sessions that's it for this video